Hey guys, this is Srini and today I'd like to talk about how you can properly get started with Python. So you have a uh, amazing experience because if you don't have a good experience learning anything, you'll give up and then you'll restart and you'll give up. Okay, you need to have a good plan and I hope I can provide a high level structure for you in this uh, in this video. Now, uh, if uh, one thing I should actually mention is please do not have any gaps in your knowledge or plan such a way that you do not have any gaps in the knowledge because when you when you do have those then life later on becomes very difficult for example if you skip learning about pandas to handle data data sets then when you get into machine learning it is an absolute must to know pandas and numpy for example okay so you cannot just skip these and directly get into get into uh, you know deep learning so you must have uh, some form of instruction now before you do anything before you get started at all okay in life it not just python in life it's very important to answer the why question why do you want to do something okay why do you want to learn python do you want to learn it because uh, you want to get a job well that's a good reason if so in what domain do you want to work for a uh, financial analysis you know like stock market analysis company do you want to work for a uh, autonomous driving company or uh, or do you want to work for a biopharma type company that actually deals with you know biology type of images or oil and gas exploration so machine learning or python in general can be applied uh, in many domains banking networking you name it you have to figure out what interests you and what are you good at what are you going to be good at right then you get to the next level okay now you have an idea but even if you do not have an idea there are certain basics that you need to know so here is my proposal let's say you want to start learning python or relearn python if you have tried it in the past you absolutely start with certain fundamentals that you must have the fundamentals include how to navigate using the terminal or um, on windows you call this uh, windows command prompt right how to change directories how to find files you have to be very good at it okay otherwise how would you import a file into python if it's on your drive or somewhere else right so you have to know these basic terminal windows commands and make sure you spend at least uh, a few hours learning about those and then comes uh, installing python ide and how to navigate the IDE, how to change the color so you're comfortable because you'll be seeing the same screen over and over so you better make sure it looks pretty otherwise you cannot see it ugly stuff for a long time okay so how do you do that and how do you navigate those and the next thing is write a hello world uh, program uh, inside the IDE okay in your development environment and for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about uh, whether it is PyCharm or Anaconda, you know, Spider or something else. OK, so how do you write a simple line? Just hello world uh, and also do exactly the same thing in a notepad. Just open a notepad, write this one line, save the notepad as .py extension and then run it using command prompt, run it using uh, the Python IDE and in multiple ways. It gives you a good understanding and appreciation because I'm pretty sure initially it gives you an error saying that, oh, the, you know, probably means the file doesn't exist or we don't know what you're talking about. Then you know that, oh, I didn't run this command in the right, right directory. So let me change it. These are the things you need to learn uh, as part of your fundamentals. OK, once you're done with fundamentals, now go to the next level. And the next level typically is no matter what language. Again, I'm uh, focusing primarily on Python. The next level is to learn the basics. What are variables? How do you assign these variables? What is, uh, how do you automate things using for loops or while loops? What are conditions like if and else conditions? So these are very important. What are lists? What are integers? What do you mean by floating point? And uh, what are arrays? And uh, including functions. What are functions and what are classes? All of this, I think, is core no matter which direction you want to go. It doesn't matter if you want to be a sports analyst or if you want to be a biologist. You need to have these type of fundamentals already figured out. OK, now once you have this next, go to the next level. OK, so until now, it's all core Python functions that you should be knowing or the ways you uh, you deal with these, uh, the core uh, Python, uh, uh, yeah, functions is probably the right term. I mean, if, and uh, the next level would be extending the core Python functionality by importing libraries. 
So libraries are basically something that someone else written and we just import it and run it from our uh, code. So for example, NumPy is something that you need to know, uh, you know, uh, to manipulate data. And uh, uh, matplotlib visualizes the data. I mean, you can use it for plotting. Okay, so matplotlib is another library. I'm still talking about core libraries. I'm not talking about other fancy libraries. Okay, these are the core libraries. The other one is pandas. It's, uh, it's not very core to Python, but it is uh, almost an essential library if you want to go into any data analysis type of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, jobs in future. So uh, pandas is another library. So learn about these libraries and now get comfortable with this again manipulating data and arrays and now you're ready to go into the next level which is uh, now specific techniques now we are actually branching out a little bit okay not from the core but still you need to know this no matter which field you go into when i talk about specific techniques i mean statistical packages or image analysis packages like uh, opencv and scikit image and basic machine learning packages like scikit-learn, for example, and then understand linear regression, multilinear regression, what is uh, logistic regression, for example, what is support vector machines and random forest. So these are the things you need to know before even moving on to deep learning, okay? And uh, also get familiar with, uh, this is where you need to get familiar with what is TensorFlow and what is Keras, okay? If you're very good at uh, classes and functions, you, you can get into, uh, uh, PyTorch, uh, for example. Okay, so this is this is where you have technique level understanding, and next level is where you branch out into specific domain. Okay, the domain level includes. Okay, do you want to go into financial again, or uh, biological, or networking, or do you want to go into natural language uh, processing? Because each of these, they all use machine learning. They all use Keras and TensorFlow. But then in a, in a, uh, the way you handle the data would be different, okay? Or speech recognition. It's all the same. It's all ones and zeros, okay? And once you master that, get into application level. When I say application level, specific application for biology, a specific cell biology application, a specific neuroscience application for, uh, uh, for geosciences, do you want to... Uh, separate uh, different minerals in your image. Is it mineralogy? Is it petrology? Are you trying to do oil and gas exploration? So this is where the specific applications come into the picture. So structure your learning such a way that you see a nice progress when you go through this. If you randomly just uh, uh, download uh, or learn how to do pip install TensorFlow and then import TensorFlow, you are not a machine learning engineer or a data scientist. Do not put that on your resume. Do not send that to me, okay? Uh, because this is not going to make anyone happy, not the person interviewing you and not you also, because you don't want to come out, uh, you know, as a loser after these, inter of course, not every interview you'll get it, but then you don't want to be humiliated in these uh, interviews. And if you don't have this knowledge, you will be humiliated and it's a waste of time for anyone. Okay, so, uh, if, if you want to get started in a structured way, I am trying to structure my videos, my tutorials, all the way from 1 to 170 plus something as of today, uh, October 2020. And uh, you can actually go in a methodical way. And if you think my videos are not to your uh, learning style, find other videos on YouTube. YouTube has so many videos, right? So find something that works for you and stick to the plan. And I'm pretty sure you'll be very successful at learning Python, which uh, uh, helps you with your career and your research. So I hope you found this lecture to be inspiring and uh, keep watching my videos again. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let's again get back to Python uh, starting or, uh, you know, in the next video. So thanks again for watching this video.